Okay, sorry, I'm just posting our May 29th journal. Who's someone you'd like to meet? So if you don't journal with us, head to our Instagram. It's super fun and we give away free prizes and $10 off when the store opens and everything like that. Yeah. My first time recording myself for a YouTube video, so it's a little bit awkward. Um, so hopefully I get better throughout the throughout the process. Um, hey guys, my name is Erica. Um, as some of you may know, some of you might not, I am opening a boutique called Onyx Sunday on the east side of El Paso, um, as well as an online store. So I kind of just wanted to come on and put up a video of how I decided to start Onyx Sunday, why I decided the location I put it in, and um, the status of kind of when we're opening and where we are at the moment, because um, I know a lot of you have been wondering when we're going to open and like what's going on, and so have I. So I kind of just want to give you guys an update as to where that is right now. Um, so yeah, on next Sunday, um, I started with an online store. So last, about last April 2017, um, I had an idea to, you know, open an online store. I was like, I don't have to pay rent, like this is amazing. I don't have to pay rent, I just have the clothes here. If someone orders it, I ship it out. Um, basically super easy startup cost almost none except for my inventory and the website I'm paying for and everything like that so kind of dove into doing that and um, wasn't too successful in it because I think I wasn't picking it was a lot of things I wasn't branding myself right my Instagram my social media wasn't really existent and if it was it was like everywhere um, so I had a couple orders here and there I would do a pop-up shop which where is where I would sell most of my stuff um, and then decided to put that on hold and leave the country <laughs> like travel the travel uh, to a couple countries for a couple of months and while I was doing that I kind of just had in the back of my mind like um, I could like I could just put all this money into like this store in El Paso and um, and travel like travel later like this is always going to be here and I think the timing in El Paso for the east side of El Paso especially um for a clothing boutique was is like really needed at least for me I always like I, I'll run to I need an outfit and I'll run to Target and Target doesn't always have something that I have in mind or something like that I really would like to wear at a special occasion so um and then the west side ones are so far for us Eastsiders, um, I know they're great boutiques on the west side that I love and a lot of my friends love. Um, so yeah, um, kind of was thinking about that in the process. Came home for Christmas and was here like November and December. Um, and while I was out here, I kind of was looking at retail locations. So I went out to a couple retail locations and looked at them and really liked this one um, spot. It's where Born and Raised is on the east side. Born and Raised Horror Burger, Oh Sun Juice, Glow Tanning. There's a um, ice cream scrapers, I think that's what it's called, um, opening up a nail salon. So it's kind of like um, a really good area to where a lot of people are going to start going and um, it's really visible. It's right off Saragossa. So I'm really excited about that. So I picked that location and then um, in December, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to go back to travel. And then decided, no, like this is a really scary. I'm 25 years old and it was scary to have to commit everything to a five-year lease. You know, all my money, all my time, all my effort, and it's all on me. So I kind of freaked out a little bit and... <laughs> left the country again in January. So then I left for two months and while I was in, I was in South America, um, I decided, well the entire time I was there, all my mind could think about was opening this store in El Paso and everything I can do to market it and everything I can do to um, benefit like all those East Side girls who don't have any clothes to wear and all the events I could do and how my social media could be and all the clothes I could get and just my mind was just constantly thinking about that <laughs> and um, 
Yeah, so I kind of, um, I left that trip early, emailed the landlord, not the landlord, I emailed the company of where the space was and told them, hey, I'm ready to sign this lease. Um, I get back this day. Um, let me know when, like, let me know when you, you are available for me to come sign. So, so yeah, I did that within like a week of getting back from South America, signed my lease, and that was February 28th, and so it was about three months, three and a half months ago. Um, yeah, so, uh, it kind of was like a whirlwind, and it's just, but I was so passionate about this, like, this not a project, it's like a, it's like, I want to create a space where um, you guys can come and feel beautiful and like wanted and I want to be your friend and where you can talk to me and you can talk to whoever's working and whoever's shopping also and we'll have events where everyone can meet and it's just like a cool space and something really different for this area and the city I think. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for that aspect of it and I have some amazing clothes picked out. I want to buy like everything but then you there won't be anything for you guys to shop from. This is actually a bodysuit from there. So uh, yeah where what else um, also okay so status as far as where we are. So I was supposed to move in last week unfortunately um, the contractor is behind, the city has delayed them, so we are th three weeks behind schedule. So we were supposed to open June 9th, but right now the grand opening day is tentative. I know, so sad. I was like heartbroken, but um, so we're, it will be definitely, well, fingers crossed, God willing, will definitely be in June, sometime towards the end of June maybe. Um, I'll find out the end of this week, like, well, I'll try and find out what the status is and what the dates are. So, um, yeah, but our grand opening is going to be really fun. We're going to have, um, you know, free coffee from Clever Coffee. If you don't follow them, give them a follow on Instagram. They're a pop-up coffee shop in El Paso. Um, so we'll have free coffee, uh, free donuts, and you can decorate your own donut with, like, glitter and pink and Instagram it, whatever. And then... We'll have free coffee mug, free, that's a surprise. We'll have free gifts, free surprise gifts, um, uh, some drawings, giveaways, and a flower bar where you can um, create your own flower bouquet. So yeah, that's exciting and that's the status. Other than that, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to notify you guys about. But I'll give, I'll do an update video at the end of the week. Um, and then once I start moving in, I'll be doing a lot of behind the scenes videos of the decorating process and the tagging process and just everything. Yeah, that you guys might, I think it's cool. So maybe if you guys want to see that. Um, I'm so excited to meet everyone and thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe so that you can see all of the videos we post. We're gonna be posting um, outfit videos, uh, things to do in El Paso videos, just a lot of stuff, and our events and giveaway rules. So, yeah, about giveaways. Follow our Instagram on next Sunday. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see, not really. But on next Sunday on Instagram, we do a lot of give. We do like weekly giveaways. Um, if you're like following our rules or whatever and we do a, a journal thing so every day we'll give you a template where you can journal and post it to your story um and then every week a winner's picked from doing that um we've done other giveaways and if you're really like active and participate in our instagram we might send you a free surprise gift so yeah follow us on there um you can like us on facebook Follow us on YouTube and we'll let you know when the opening is going to be. So excited to meet y'all.